Hi everyone. Hey, thanks for joining me today. Now today I'm going to be making a nice healthy little dessert for you. It goes great for barbecue season. And what it is, is grilled pineapple and banana parfait. So I'm going to toss in a few walnuts and of course some yogurt and it's delicious and it's healthy for you. So I'm Rockin' Robin and I'm going to show you how to do it right after this. You know what I like about this recipe, guys? It is so easy to do and put together. And I really like the fact that we're using a lot of fruits and it's a great way to end your barbecue meal with something a little bit healthy. So let's go over those ingredients. So you're gonna need a nice ripe pineapple, which I have right here, and a banana, which we're going to be grilling those two things because that's where we're gonna get some really nice, interesting flavors when we grill it. It caramelizes those sugars and it just intensifies the flavors quite a bit. We'll also need some yogurt. I'm using vanilla yogurt here. Uh, you can certainly use, you know, regular plain if you're worried about, you know, too much sugar in there. Uh, we'll need some strawberries, some raspberries. I have some chopped walnuts, which I'm also going to uh, toast and get a little bit of nice, you know, richer flavor out of that. And then serve it up in a glass, something like this. This is a, uh, you know, this is actually a sort of a hot chocolate kind of mug, but uh, any parfait dish will work and look beautiful. We want to start off here by cutting up our pineapple, and you can do this any way you want. I'm going to cut off both ends. And then I'm going to cut it lengthwise. Now I'm going to go ahead and cut off the outer portion of this. I'm going to keep my pieces long. I think the spears will be easier to, to grill. Now, by the way, I you know, mentioned that this is great for the barbecue, but I'm not gonna be grilling outside today only because it's not very nice weather out. It's pretty windy outside, and it might make it a little difficult for you guys to hear me. So I'm gonna, do, I'm gonna use an indoor grill that I have. After you finish cutting the core out of your pineapple, don't throw it away. There's some good uses for that. So what I like to do is take mine and you can leave it as it is in long spears or cut it up into chunks. I stick it in a Ziploc bag and I pop it in the freezer. When I'm making a smoothie, I pull one out and throw it into my smoothie. It has lots of bromelain in it, which is an enzyme that helps with digestion and lots of good vitamins. There's vitamin C. So you can also freeze them and make them like little ice cubes too. Let's cut up our banana and then we'll be ready for grilling. All right guys, so here's my grill pan. I'm preheating it over medium high heat. You want the temperature to be medium high because we wanna get these grill marks on there quick and then get it off. I'm going to spread just a little bit of olive oil to help keep the fruit from sticking. You hear that sizzle? We're sizzling away. Here's our bananas. And we're just gonna grill these for a couple minutes. All right, guys, we're gonna go ahead and flip these over. Beautiful. See how those bananas are doing. Now, the bananas are gonna be a lot more fragile and, you know, maybe more problems. They might break up. There we go, perfect. Okay, in about another minute, these should be done. Guys, I almost forgot to toast up the walnuts. So I'm pouring them into my pan here, medium-low heat, and we're going to let those toast up. I'm ready to put this thing together. Are you ready to see it? Well, you know what? I forgot my blueberries. They were in the fridge and I forgot to bring them out. So I'm going to add a few of those too. And guys, feel free to add any fruits that you want, your favorites, whatever works for you. I rinsed the strawberries and the raspberries. And now I'm just going to cut the strawberries into quarters because they're just a little bit too large to fit into my uh, glass. All right, now we can just layer things any way you see fit, okay? So maybe I'll start off with a few blueberries at the bottom. Maybe a couple strawberries and of course the yogurt. I'm gonna drop some of that in there, that's good. 
Now some of those walnuts that smell amazing after I toasted them up, give it a nice crunch. And you could also use granola if you wanted to, it works well. And uh, the bananas turned a little dark, which you might expect. And so what I did was is I did sprinkle over a little bit of lemon juice to kind of you know stop that from happening. And then I'm gonna lay a couple of pieces here in the bottom. Tell you who wouldn't want to eat that it looks fantastic so I'm gonna give it a taste I can't wait a little bit of that crunch in there with the uh, walnuts that is absolutely delicious you're gonna love it serve it up with your kids you know a, just a nice healthier type of dessert guys I hope you enjoyed watching this video I certainly enjoyed making it for you, and um, if you enjoyed it, please share it, leave me a comment, give me a thumbs up, all those good things. So thanks for watching, everybody. We'll see you next time with another delicious recipe. Thanks again.